المعنيه كافه المواطنين الى المملكه المعنيه و Martin Mai is professor of earth science and engineering at King Abdullah University in Saudi Arabia and he joins us from Jeddah. Uh, Martin, thank you for being with us. From a geology standpoint, what stands out to you about this quake? Yeah, good evening. First of all, I'd like to express my condolences to uh, the people of uh, Morocco and all those affected by these Absolutely. earthquakes. You know, the, the geology there is very complicated. Um, you know, Africa moves towards the north and crashes into the Eurasian com um, uh, European continent, so to speak. And the deformation in this area where the earthquake struck is only about four or five millimeters per year. So that sounds pretty small. However, the, the forces act over hundreds of years, and so stress builds up. And eventually, the faults of the high atlas, they have to slip. And that was what happened uh, during this earthquake. So magnitude 6.8 is fairly large and hence a strong damage um, due to severe shaking over a wide area. Yeah, talk to us about the particular circumstances of an earthquake happening in a mountainous area. What does that change? Um, that's actually a very good question. So, um, you know, we typically think of earthquakes creating seismic waves that rock the buildings, and that's, of course, what happened here. Um, in addition, in this mountainous uh, region, um, I expect to see many, many landslides and uh, so and rock falls. So these will, you know, potentially damage buildings um, and, and particular roads. So access for rescue purposes will be severely hindered because of these landslides. And the other effect is that as these uh, seismic waves travel through um, mountainous regions, they get locally amplified. So they become much stronger, the amplitude and hence the shaking can actually be stronger than we typically expect. So there are two compounding effects for earthquakes in such mountainous regions. Okay, so what does all that mean for potential aftershocks then? Well, first of all, the occurrence of the aftershocks themselves is unrelated to the shaking in the mountains. So the aftershocks will occur again deep in the crust. They can reach magnitude five and a half or even a bit more because this earthquake was 6.8 and statistics over the last decades show that the largest aftershocks are about one order, one magnitude smaller than the main shock magnitude. Um, but still, uh, even a magnitude, let's say 5.5 uh, aftershock can cause strong shaking, which again, potentially may be amplified in certain uh, either deep sedimentary valleys or on, on these deep mountain slopes.